Well, the media has become obsessed with scaremongering, screaming the hottest day ever, hottest day in 125,000 years. Let's find out what Ian Clymer thinks about it. Ian, <laughs> where are you, mate? Here you are. Can you hear us? Here he is. Hello, mate. How are you? Oh, I can hear you. Professor Plymer. I'm in Adelaide. And, Professor Plymer, uh, what did you make of the hottest day ever in 125,000 years? Over to you. Well, that's total BS. These are activists. Uh, you can count on a sawmiller's hand the number of real journalists we have reporting on climate. They didn't tell us that the 1930s in the US was much hotter than now. And it's not hotter now because they've adjusted the figures. They didn't tell us that we've had warmer periods in the medieval times, in Roman times. They, if they want to go back as far as 125,000 years, let's look at geological time. We've had much hotter times, 600, 500, 400, 200, 150 million years ago. And we've been cooling for the last 50 million years. These activists who call themselves journalists putting these screeching headlines do not do any homework. They don't look at the past and they have no idea about the factors driving climate. This is just scaremongering. Rita. <laughs> well, scaremongering is... Uh... Everywhere. We're seeing these climate maps in Europe that seem to be on fire. <laughs> they're, they're, they're red, lava red. So tell me about Europe, because uh, we are hearing a lot of hysteria from there. They've apparently didn't realise it gets hot in summer. Are they having some record temperatures in Europe? Yes, they are. A record lows. And that's been happening for the last few years. We're actually in a long cooling trend that's been going on for 4,000 years. And during that cooling trend, we've had spikes of warmth, such as the Minoan, Roman and medieval times, and spikes of cooling, such as in the Dark Ages and the Little Ice Age. And we're just coming out of the Little Ice Age, which Europe felt very, very intensely. And what do you think temperature would do when we come out of a little ice age? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? So Europe certainly has a very good climate record and this is an integration of history and measurements. And in Europe, we can see that every summer it gets warmer. Strange about that. Every winter it's cold. Now, we have in Europe massive bushfires every summer. A lot of those are deliberately lit for land clearing such that people can develop land. A lot of those are from machinery. This is a normal summertime event. People don't look back in time. And if you only look back 50 years, 100 years or 1,000 years or a million years, you can see that there is massive variability. And the measurements we get today are within variability. Now, even the IPCC says this in the AR6 report in Chapter 12, hidden there where no journalist would actually take the time to read it, <laughs> there is a table showing the extreme climate events. And all of them are within variability. So we have journalists who are pushing an agenda.